And next up, we are sitting here with a guy named Tyler Delpino. That's my name. <laughs> Tyler, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, a little bit about myself. Well, um, I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> I like the cool breeze of a summer air. Uh, no, <laughs> I I also I'm, I'm I'm just an all around music fan. That's like I I feel like my whole life is just living and breathing music, and uh, I love writing and working with other musicians. So that's why this is so rad because everybody here just loves music as much as I feel like I do, anyways. So it's pretty cool. Right on. And if everybody wanted to find your music, learn when you're playing, all that stuff, do you have a Facebook page you want to shout out? I do. Yeah, it's Tyler Delpino Music. It's actually um, pretty easy to find. I've got a website, TylerDelpino.com feels weird when you keep saying the name <laughs> over and over again. Um, so everybody just search up Tyler <laughs> just Delpino Tyler online. Just very Googleable. Comes up very easy. Okay, what song are you going to be playing? And give us a bit of a lead into it. Uh, the first tune I'm going to play is actually the, it's the debut uh, song off of... I just really recently re released an EP. Uh, it's called The Great Unknown EP. And uh, I'm, I'm going to play that tune just because it seems to be the song that's been just around throughout this whole thing. It's been a very busy last couple months trying to put this whole thing together. So... Um, this is kind of a tune that, uh, that I wrote. I ended up doing, uh, it was actually a songwriting workshop with Manitoba Music, champion Manitoba Music, yeah. Uh, I got to write the song with Andy Stakansky and Natalie Bourne, and it just kind of turned out I came in with the chorus, and uh, we kind of went from there, and so we just kind of put it together. So this is a tune called The Great Unknown. Awesome. Take it away. Tyler Del Pino. Everybody telling me what to think, what to say But in my head I'm screaming no, no, no What to wear, what to say, doesn't matter anyway I'll never stop this fire while the embers glow I could be miles away, I might be far from home But I know life is better in the great unknown It might be wild and strange, but that's just how it goes Cause I know life is better in the great unknown Yeah, I know life is better in the great unknown Get a job, bank the cash, 65, you'll count the stash Ride the straight and narrow while you're young and old Buy the dream, pay the toll, name your price, sell your soul What's the fun in living when your life ain't gold? I could be miles away, I might be far from home Could be miles away, I might be far from home, but I know life is better in the great unknown. It might be wild and strange, but that's just how it goes. I know life is better in the great unknown. I could be miles away, I might be far from home. Everybody at home, you are watching Tyler Del Pino, and I know you told us a little bit about the writing process of some people you wrote with on that song. Yeah. What's your typical writing process? Does the song come first? Do the lyrics come first? How's it go? I don't. I don't actually know that I have an answer to that. It happens. It happens differently every single time. Um, 
that that actually that last tune i originally had it called uh, off the road i know which doesn't make a lick of sense uh, and then when I brought it into the writing room, they're like, yeah, that's terrible. We shouldn't do that. And then uh, we were – I was actually – I was really against fighting that particular song because the great unknown, I was like, oh, it sounds too epic. I'm not that epic. And then they were like, no, 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 it's a, it's a good one. And then so we kind of just went with it. And then the more that you play the song, you, f- you get into it. So it honestly, like sometimes it's a lyric, sometimes it's a melody. It happens in all different ways. So, so you mentioned the writing room. So is it accurate to say that you usually come up with a song idea, then you – collaborate with other people to get that final yeah sometimes uh, sometimes i really just try to come to a writing room if i'm doing like co-writing with anybody i just try to come with some idea something like a melody a lyric anything maybe something i've wanted to write about i always try to think uh, about words that b- people use that maybe aren't songs yet that's that i always find really intriguing it's like oh we haven't actually written a song about this thing before i've never heard of it you know so that's always kind of fun cool well tell us the next song you're gonna write and how that came about the next song I'm going to play or yeah, write? That's right. The next song I'm going to play. you want to do a write session <laughs> right here? Yeah, let's do it right now. <laughs> Everybody at home's got nothing but time here. Yeah, the next song you're going to play, tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, uh, the next tune I'm going to play is another tune that's off of the EP. Uh, I've, I always feel it's kind of appropriate in these types of circumstances because the song is really about artistry. Um, I'm a very emotionally unstable artist, as I'm sure that many other people in this room can probably attest to. Uh, I feel like I'm an emotional roller coaster most times. Uh, and so being an artist is one of those things that you, you love being an artist, but then you also hate being an artist because it, like, it destroys you sometimes. And so this, this is a tune called Love, Torture, and Suicide, and it was basically a song about that, about your love-hate relationship, and it's kind of like that duality that you know, artistry kind of encompasses and what you need to make it happen. So. Right on. Take it away. Piercing your soul while you fear for your life And watch out, it'll drive you insane Flowing like blood, coursing all through your veins And tonight, it's stronger than you've ever known Yeah, tonight, no, it won't let you go Love, torture, and suicide This one never leaves you alone It's calling you back like it followed you home And this thought keeps on coming around It's filling a hole while you lie in the ground And tonight, it's stronger than you've ever known Yeah, tonight, no, it won't let you go Love, torture, and suicide that clings to the back of your mind Love, torture, and suicide Yeah, you wanna give in Cause it eats you alive And you're doing your best to survive But then you let it go your lip through the pain if everything's lost then there's nothing to gain tonight it's stronger than you've ever known yeah tonight no it won't let you go love torture and suicide like a virus that clings to the back of your mind love torture and suicide yeah you won't
Everybody at home, if you're just tuning in, we're doing a new emerging artist special live at the Roslyn. You're watching Tyler Del Pino. Earlier, we did have Olivia Lenny play, and we got two more artists coming up uh, shortly after. If you've missed any of the episode and you want to watch anything, then you can just watch it on our page later under the video tab. I know they're going to watch want to watch you over and over again, Tyler. Over. Just so just like just keep just keep watching, get those views up, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, go to sleep. Put me on. That'll be all right. <laughs> and uh, and tell us a little bit about um, why you got into music. You know, wh what what inspired you? Who inspired you? Who inspired me to get into music? I don't actually know that the answer to that question. My parents are the most unmusical people on the planet. <laughs> um, so they tried to put me into I think every sport possible, which I'm, I still love sports. Like, shout out for sports. That's fine. But I, I you know, I, uh, in terms of actually discovering music, that was kind of a real personal journey. I, when I found, when I picked up the guitar, I was like, oh, this is cool. Uh, and I just found that it just kind of, kind of consumed all my time. I just wanted to do it over and over again. So do you remember some of your earliest musical memories that might've uh, inspired you? Yeah, I, actually I have this one memory. This, so my favorite band is the Beatles. That's why I like tattooed it on my arm too, because they were kind of like the band that uh, like really changed my songwriting and just like really opened up my whole world into the idea that you can actually write really good songs. Uh, and I remember my there's the there's the Beatles number one album. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. It came out a long time ago. But at the time I was buying it, it was around Christmas time, and my mom really wanted it. And so I got it for her, and I was like, this band's old. These guys suck, whatever. And I looked at the picture, like, they all look the same. This is stupid. And then so my, <laughs> my, my mom had this thing that we would have to do chores every Saturday. Everybody else, shout out to chores? Yeah. Okay, so that, that was my household when we were growing up. And so uh, she would always put music on, and uh, my mom doesn't have a very eclectic mix, so it was only this one record that she had uh, that would just play in over and over and over again. So I remember this moment. I was vacuuming the carpet, and uh, I remember the Beatles are playing, and I was usually just tuning it out as, as background music, but for whatever reason, it was the song We Can Work It Out. Everybody knows that song. Try to see it my way. You know, that one. Um, it, I stopped. I had, to, I had to stop vacuuming because I was like, this, this is a pretty good song. And then I just stopped and I listened to it and I was like, oh, I wonder what else they, I wonder what else they got. And then so I actually ended up taking the record and taking the CD and, and then it just kind of became mine because I was like, holy cow, okay, these guys are actually like super good and my mom was right all along. Moms are always right, guys. That's the moral of the story. All right, you heard it first here live at the Rawls, and the Beatles are pretty good. <laughs> they, uh, I think they probably have a bit of a future with them. Anybody else uh, hear this band? This those new band? guys might get somewhere. <laughs> Says Tyler Del Pino live at the Rosalind. <laughs> All right, Tyler, tell us about the next song you're going to play. Yeah, the, the last thing I'm going to play is uh, it's another tune off of the EP. Um, this is, you know, it was actually really cool that Olivia was talking about all this heartbreak because I feel like that's like 90% of what I write songs about is when you get your heart broken and you write songs about it. So this, uh, this tune uh, is not a, it's maybe not the kindest song because I was not <laughs> in the best mood at the time that this happened. But uh, uh, it is about a heartbreak, and it was kind of like going through this whole thing. And, you know, it was like basically I, it was back in 2016, and I was just like really depressed and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm mad at her, and I'm going to write this song. So I wrote this tune. I'm, I feel a lot better about it now. But uh, <laughs> the tune is called Cold Hearted Killer. All right, take it away. What's the way that you planned? I gave you all that I could Put my heart in your hand It was enough in the moment Till the moment that you changed your mind Said you were looking for joy But you're a child getting bored Of the favorite toy I was a fool thinking I was someone Who was gonna change your life But maybe I'm blind No one never saw the warning sign Had me believing every kind of lie You were trouble that I had No sign of any remorse You're breaking hearts every day Like you're hunting for sport You drew me in for the kill And you left me never knowing why So let me free from your spell You put a curse on me now I'm going through hell I know you got what you wanted So you hit the road and cut the tide And maybe in blind You were magic like a land of Oz But you played me like a
Killer.